how you doing? Of course, I got the cards already laid out. I'm doing everything I can, Taurus. Okay, I'm gonna give you the message. Okay, Taurus. Nala, quit being nosy. This ain't got nothing to do with you. Ooh, y'all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, Holy Spirit, please bring me into the greatest, beautiful white light of love, harmony, joy, and bring in the most beautiful messages, spirit, that could possibly be given for Taurus at this time. What are they needing to know? Keep out any negative energy, spirit. If they're sending any negative energy, may it be sent back a thousandfold with beautiful love and light. May they keep it where they want to keep it. Amen. Okay, 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 okay. All right, Taurus. What's going on, better love? Up in here home. T -t 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 Taurus. Okay, I just did a private reading, and sometimes I'm just like, let me jump to the next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, I don't want to, yeah, no. All right, baby. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Taurus, let's see what me need to see what's the energy surrounding taurus right now spirit please understand taurians okay cross watchers ops <laughs> hello beautiful hello handsomes understand that this may not fit one size does not fit all on this channel and it never will my friend you want something more tailored to your body to your energy hit up just smile tarot at gmail.com and we go from there just smile tarot at gmail.com let's pick out some energy for the collective of Tauruses, please, spirits. Thank you, Dole. Deception. Someone is wearing a mask in this relationship. Taurus, who y'all dating? That's hell all on the mask. I'm tell you right now, it ain't the mask you think it is. Okay. Pay attention to the red flags. Now the where. <laughs> now <laughs> it says know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. Okay, Taurus. I think y'all pretty much are of. of some of you may be needing to know. Overthinking. Play negative scenarios in your head is creating issues which aren't, which weren't there at first. Taurus, you're deceiving yourselves, babe. Pay attention to the red flags, okay? You already know the warning signs of what an uh, unhealthy connection looks like. There's someone that's new coming into your life, babe, and you're going to overthink it, and they're going to overthink their way running out. They're going ah, to run. Okay, Taurus, that's the energy I'm getting here. You got something new coming in. Heartbroken. Yeah, look. Somebody from your past, Taurus, may have heart giving you heartbreak before, lies, deceit, things like that. I don't want to pick out no three. Yep, look, see, three, three swords. I don't want to that, pick out that green card. I didn't see what it said. Gossip, talk, cheating, hurt. Hurts, three swords. Spirit, one more card, please. I like to dominate. Somebody in the past, Taurus, like to dominate you. Ain't nothing wrong with it if you liked it, okay? That's fine and dandy, but I'm going to tell you something, Taurus, right, mother effing now. This energy right here has got to go. It's got to go. It can't stay, babe. Oh, no, it can't stay. Now, Taurus, by all means, I'm not saying rush the process, but I'm going to say for sure that something is coming into your life, and it's brand new. Something new. This is new love. This is new connections. Or you might have somebody in your life right now, Taurus. You or Crosswatcher, you will scare this person away, all right? You'll assume that they're being deceptive. You'll be finding red flags, okay? You already know what that unhealthy relationship looks like. So if you already got somebody giving you red flags when y'all in the talking stage or whatnot, however you call it, just mm -mm, I would just completely just ghost, okay? Overthinking, playing negative scenarios in your head and creating issues which aren't there to begin with. So don't overthink, Taurus, because somebody in the past broke your heart. Broke heart, broken, heartbroken, three of swords, and likes to dominate. Somebody liked to control you. And now we hear we have this energy, Taurus, where sometimes in the back of your mind, I'm not saying in the forefront of it, but in the back of your mind, Taurus, you may play scenarios that are not there. You're overthinking, and that might be a red flag, and it's deceptive. It's deceptive to you. It's deceptive to you have a new love. Somebody from your past acted stupid. Let them stay in Stupidville. Don't bring them into Beautyville, okay? Don't bring them into Divineville. They don't need to come with you. If they didn't want to come with you in the beginning, they're going to have to find their own way up, okay? Their own way up. Spirit, what is the message here for Taurus and this new love energy? I'm coming home. Y'all got somebody, Taurus, that's about to come into your life and they're about to stay, okay? I'm coming home. Period, point blank. Spirit, two more. Ah, one more. I got another, uh, another deck I want. We can't tell anybody about us. Okay, Taurus, so I feel like you're going to be in this energy, Taurus, where you don't want nobody to know anything about this person, this person coming in. 
I, I, you know, and it looks like it looks like an affair, but no Taurus. No, 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 no. That's not the energy I'm getting. I'm getting that you're not going to tell people about you right now because of the simple fact you got somebody, you got an ex or somebody back here that already left you heartbroken. They like to dominate. I mean, if they like to dominate your feelings, your actions, your moves, your spirituality, how you felt about yourself, where you felt like you were hot high up there, elevated, they can bring you down. They had a good time with that. They like to dominate your life. Someone's still in that energy for them to show up here like this and have you in this mindset. And remember, now this one size does not fit all. Please keep that in mind, my beautiful Tauruses, okay? I just want to see you. Somebody's going to try to come back in and gaslight your ass. That's why you're going to want to keep this a secret. Yep. Yeah, I thought you were easy. Somebody here just still feels, Taurus, that you inside the same mind frame that you were back then in the day. Your ex and new love is showing up here, but the love... The new love that's coming in towards is going to be hard to come break through because there's somebody from your past that wants to dominate the situation. Okay. Who is this person, spirit, and what are they feeling about Taurus right now? What kind of energy are they in? Oh, wow. Okay, Taurus. So we got envious. I'm telling y'all right now, Taurus. Mm -mm -mm. Pay attention to the red flags, Taurus. If anybody stand outside your window, by your car, anything like that. Okay. Pay attention to them red flags. Call the popo. As soon as you see him, get the hell away from my car. <laughs> Somebody gonna be standing out your window towards trying to see what you got going on. I think that, I think that, no, it's not, no. No, 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 okay? Uh-uh. There's new trying to come in. Somebody wants you to see, somebody wants you to set, put this, put this mask on. Like, you're not ready for love, Taurus, or like, you just, you, you stayed away from it. Somebody just wants to see you and all this and that, because they want to try to, they want to try to dominate you. They're envious of you being with somebody else, and they'll have you sit there and overthink. Be mindful, Taurus, if you have, like, somebody from your past, babe, that you still connect with, or that, you know, messages you from time to time. Oh, you know, I got inform I got receipts and things about somebody, you know, that person you were talking to. I would, Taurus, no, no, no. I'm getting bad vibes off of this anyway. Look at the bottom of the deck, what I got here. The Empress. Okay, babe? Somebody's, there's somebody, Taurus, that's about to be a part of your home, part of your life, and they're not coming to play. You see them suitcases? They're coming to stay. They don't want to unpack and pack all that shit again. Okay? We can't tell people about us. Right now, y'all got to keep it on DL. Even y'all got to meet at the hotel rooms and things like that right now, Taurus, because you might have somebody standing out your damn window. Okay, pay attention to the red flags. If you see a weird unmarked car and shit like that, somebody might be using their mom's car or their cousin's car to try to spy on you to see what it is you're doing and things like that, Taurus. Please. This message is weird. Somebody just thinks that you... <laughs> somebody thinks you miss them. That's why you're moving forward. You're trying to get over them. Somebody here has a lot of kahunas. Okay? Mm-hmm. Look, four cups. Four cups. You weren't satisfied. The world card. You shut it out. Okay? Spirit, one more, please, for Taurus. You shut out a cycle with somebody else. And now something new is here. I'll take that. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we got the Seven of Pentacles. You're rebuilding. You're rebuilding. We saw the Empress, and look, now here's the Emperor. I'm telling y'all, y'all got somebody new coming in. The moon. Ooh, we two major arcanas here: the world and the moon card. Taurus, this is supposed to be left secret. Okay, you closing out a cycle and you starting something new. You listening to your intuition, Taurus, about who this is you're coming into the connection with. Now, the bubble guts is not the intuition. Okay, so be very mindful of that. All right, here we got on this card, Taurus. Failing to recognize a magical opportunity, missing the point, distractions of daily life, discernment, discontentment, or boredom, lost in your own world. Wake up. This person, Taurus, is coming in. You need to be opened up. You need to open up and stop being in this negative overthinking energy. Okay, because it literally says here, falling to rec failing to recognize a magical opportunity. Somebody wants to come home to you every day, Taurus. If they're not here now, they're coming. And Taurus, this is an energy where it's like it was kind of sad for you because we got heartbroken, three of swords, like to dominate. And then here we got the world card. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment, a spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do whatever you want, be proud of yourself. You hear that main word in there, Taurus, that sentence, freedom to do whatever you want. This person here cannot take over. The, no, 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 shoe fly, shoe fly, shoe fly. No way, Taurus. World card now, since we have the world card. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You could be done with the Taurus, an Aquarius, a Leo, or Scorpio. And here we got Pisces and Cancer energy. I see the moon card as that. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to signs from the divine. Unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. 
Again, revelations that will make everything clear. Revelations that will make everything clear, Taurus, okay? That's what I'm saying here, okay? The overthinking, all right? Listen to your intuition. Somebody was, <laughs> I just want to see you. Taurus, look. Use your intuition with somebody. And it's right underneath dominant. I don't... Mm. Anyway. Okay, Spirit. What do we got going on here for Taurus? What's the message? Somebody wants to dominate you, Taurus. It could be a Scorpio. Now that I heard Nala barking. Fur freak. Nala. You done giving confirmations around here? Hmm? You done? Fur weirdo. Okay. Four cups, spirit. Four cups for Taurus. Temperance. Be patient with yourself. Taurus, I told you, there is no type of race for this healing, Taurus. But don't miss a magical opportunity that might be coming your way, Taurus, because you're burdened by somebody that wants to dominate your future, dominate your feelings. This person would love for you to miss out on new love because they want control over you. Taurus, you'll, heart, you'll be heartbroken when I want you to be. <laughs> No, so it's just full of shit. Yeah, they're full of shit. Temperance energy is Sagittarius. Okay, could be dealing with one. Don't have to be four cup spirit. The three of wands, exactly. Being patient with your ships coming in, Taurus. Having the passion to actually do that and opening up your heart. That heart chakra sleeve right there that person's wearing. And look at that braid. Not a braid, but that checker. It's like it's built, it's built in you. The wand you're holding right now, okay, that wand you're holding is that new beginning. The two of wands right there on the side, Taurus, is you making the decision to move forward. Your back is turned. Your back is turned. In fact, you could be looking at your um you could be looking at your angels. Somebody here, Taurus, wants to talk to you. Okay, they're starting to see things from a different perspective. But Taurus, please don't be fooled by that. All right, this page-ass energy just wants you to be stuck in the past. They want things to go back to the way they were. Doing what? Keeping you in this energy of nine of swords. No, I think not. That's the energy I'm getting right now. Somebody had a nerd to ask me, Taurus, um, uh, one of my last reads. I think it was about two weeks ago. Well, you just said the other day that our person is... Look, man... <laughs> Listen, listen, Linda. Listen, Linda. Her name wasn't Linda. I just remember that little kid that used to do that Linda thing. Taurus, there's going to be messages that are for you. There's messages that are not for you. And this, we have to understand that we are reading energy here. This is just simply energy. Okay, babe? Now, that's even going with personal readings. You got to understand. You have free will. And I cannot stand when people say you don't have free will. That is a lie. Yes, you do. You decide if you're going to hold your pee or go to the bathroom and release yourself. You can hold till the next morning. That's your free will. Do what you want. Fine. But what I feel here, Taurus, is to say that sometimes the messages are going to come out so sweet, new love, and things like that. Sometimes they'll mix, and sometimes they'll be about the path. It's about who's in the energy and what's, um, what's here, what my spirit gods give me. So please, Taurus, be patient and, and still love, you know, the channel and be patient with me being as a reader. I love doing what I do. It's a passion. It's not a hobby for me. It's a passion. There's a difference. I enjoy what I do, and I do it with very, 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 very careful thought. And I love to make and help other individuals. I really, truly do. But if I see shit, I'm going to call shit out. If I see a jewel, I'm going to call jewel out. Oh, hi, jewel. Is there a jewel here? I don't know why I said jewel. Jewelry, jewels, gems, okay? Beauty. Taurus, you're high tilling it out of there. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting the energy here with this chariot that you need to be, raise your vibration. Someone wants to come home to you and you being discontent. Look at this angel. Wow, this is so beautiful, Taurus. Look at this angel behind the tree trying to hand you a cup. And look, Taurus, you're negative thinking. Raise your vibes. Look at that angel. He's like hesitant. Like, and then look, we got the we got the temperance energy right here with two cups. Like Taurus, new love is here. Let's balance that cup out. And this angel back here is like, I don't know if I should even approach Taurus right now. <laughs> Cross watcher, I don't know. But I'm trying to bring somebody to you. They got their suitcase outside. What do I do? This angel looks com conflicted. Like, all right, how do I approach? Like, <laughs> That is beautiful. I'm just noticing that. Taurus, it's time to raise your vibration, honey. Start up that car of positivity and start moving forward, okay? Have the armor of God upon you. You're protected. You're loved, okay? Don't let negative thinking get in the way, all right? Yes, Taurus, because you manifested. Maybe there was a point in time, Taurus, where you were real sad. You're like, you know what? I really want somebody that's going to be down for me. That's going to, you know, honor me, you know, 
I just want somebody that's going to love me the right way, the way I give them love. I want them to give the same in return. Taurus, it's coming. And then you may just let it go. You might just wipe your tears. It could have been two years ago, three years ago. It could have been two weeks ago. It doesn't matter. Everybody's in a different... Um... And what I love about this Taurus with the four cups is there is three major arcanas right here at the very beginning. We have the Temperance, the Chariot, and the Magician. Sagittarian, Cancer, and Gemini and Virgo. Aries also I get from that. I don't know. Here we are with the World Card Spirit. We have the Hangman, another major arcana. You're starting to see things from a different perspective, Taurus, okay? You haven't quite made it out, all right? That the, you have, you are, you are, it's brilliant success that you are making here. It's joyful accomplishment, but you're almost there, okay? That's why I said the negative thinking, all right? Somebody's going to be envious, that, envious of you not deceiving yourself, deceiving yourself, not you sitting there finding every red flag or looking for them and overthinking. Somebody's not going to like you to not do this. They're going to be envious of you actually connecting with another person because you ain't going to overthink the connection. Somebody here is going to be mad because you can see that these are blessings coming your way. You can see that this offer is going to be something worthwhile. It might be a night, but it's okay, Taurus. It can grow. Spirit, what's the world card? Yeah, Taurus, you're going to start seeing things at a different perspective. With that chariot here, Taurus, I feel like you need to move towards positivity, towards confidence. Queen of Wands, male or female energy, Aries Leo Sag, and walk away from the what? The negativity, the negative thoughts, okay? Walk away from it. Let me do it even better for you here, okay, Taurus? Let me show. Walking away from the negative thoughts, okay? Whether they be on the line, whether they be from a distance, whatever's going on, Taurus, because all it's going to do is just make you feel worried. It's going to make you feel worried. It's going to make you not very, it's not going to make you feel very confident holding that wand and the three of wands there, okay? Yep. You're strong. You're strong, Taurus, and you're confident. And you see how this Queen of Wands is looking towards this direction. Well, the old is back here. You're looking away from it. You're confident. You're not looking in that stuck position. You change things. Look, and it's a tower moment for you. Aha. I don't have to stay in heartbreak with people that are deceiving. Okay, that was then. All right? I don't have to hold on to that. This is what, this is what somebody wants for you. They want to charge in. They want to remind you. Taurus, remember this? That's going to happen again. No, it's not. It's not up to them. It's not up to them, Taurus. The world card. You're closing out this cycle or closing out cycles from the past, Taurus. Very, 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 very gently. And you're doing it very well. You're doing it with confidence, Taurus. And you're doing it with assurance. You're ready for this. You're ready to transform. Okay? Ending. Ending of all that. Confidently. Okay, look, Ten of Swords. Oh, yeah, that's a done-done. Look, that Ten of Swords and then that Ten of Cups right there. Mm-hmm. You're going towards your happiness, Taurus. New love coming in. The world spirit, the world for Taurus. And that's the truth. King of Swords. And blatantly, I kind of like the King of Swords that just came out here, Taurus, because you're going to have somebody that's more truthful. Taurus, don't trick your mind into feeling like everybody around you is going to do this type of stuff to you. Okay. This is like eight of swords energy. It puts you in your head, about three of swords, crying, hurting, someone trying to win at all costs. That's not everybody, Taurus. That isn't. And the work that you've been putting in, Taurus, day by day, it may have been baby steps, but Taurus, you're going to get somewhere. You definitely are. Clarify that death card, spirit. What's Taurus closing out? Old ways of thinking. Now you have clarity and truth. That's sword has a very fat crown on the top of it you've conquered your thinking process okay you're gonna have straight up clarity of who it is you want to be around you know the signs taurus you don't have to put up with nothing you don't have to put yourself in anything you want to put yourself in taurus and that's facts i also see the eight of wands is facts you see how quick them things are coming in facts okay and then the six of swords you got the facts. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. Somebody really wants to, like, project to you. I love you, Taurus. We're lovers. No, you got lovers. There's a difference. Heartbroken. Three of swords. I like to dominate. You better move your confused butt around. Look at that. Seven of cups, Taurus, right after the lover's card. That's too many. That's too much. No, no. Uh -uh. No, Taurus. You've already been there and done that, honey. You already been there and done that. You're walking away from it. Because it didn't do nothing but it, it didn't do nothing but make you feel worry, sad, sorrow, hurt. Okay? It made you feel like you were blind. No. Closing that out. Spirit. The moon. Six of cups. Six of cups. 
Mm, listen to your intuition, Taurus, okay? Getting away from unnecessary worry, Taurus. How do you go into an unnecessary worry? Sometimes think like a child. I'm not saying be a child or be immature, but think like a child. Be willing to give without receiving anything in return. Go in there with, un with no expectations at all. Don't have no high expectations. Listen to your intuition. Allow it to sing. Okay, allow it to sing. The star, Aquarius energy. Rush to that star, Taurus, and make a wish. Rush to that star and make a wish like a child would. You know how when you get as an adult, you don't see things like you did when you were a child. We all know that, Taurus. Okay, I have sometimes too. But it doesn't hurt sometimes, Taurus, to take a little bit of leap of faith. Okay, you're not in the cold. That's all an illusion. Someone wants to dominate you. They want to make you feel like you're in the cold. Not they asses in the cold, Taurus. You in the sun. Do you see that? There's clear as day sun there. Somebody wants to dominate you. And I don't like it. Yeah, spirits calling judgment on that ad. Nope. Get on, get on, get on, get on. Okay, go on with the flex. No, thank you. Spirit, what we got for the moon here? Two more cards for Taurus, Spirit. New, new. We have the two of swords. So, Taurus, somebody wants you to be blind to new things. Somebody wants you to be blind to see in Taurus. You can have whatever it is you want. You can heal. Okay, someone wants you to be blind and make you feel like you need to be scared of the unknown. See the moon there? I think not. That's why you use your intuition. Okay? Because if anybody tries to put a blindfold on you, Taurus, okay, you can use your gut. Your gut can tell you something. You don't have to see nothing. You understand? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, Taurus. is coming in fast. Somebody really wants to blind blind you. Why am I getting that? Blind your healing. Yeah, they want to make you feel like, Taurus, you're going to be out in the cold forever. Taurus, don't be a fool. You're just going to fall right into the cold. Somebody here is annoying. They're just envious. It's annoying. So you're giving something for that two of swords. I'm... Mm, yeah, I'm telling... Look at... Five of swords, Taurus. Come on, baby. If you don't believe in me... Look, Taurus. Look at this. Somebody wants to blow your dreams right down the drain. They want to blow up into smithereens. All right? Look at that. We have the tower and the four wands. Somebody wants to huff and pl puff and blow your house down. Whatever that pig piggy story is. They want to. They want to try, Taurus. But they're the ones that's sitting there looking stupid. Okay, because like I said, Taurus, nine of swords, ten of wands. It's very stressful for this dominant weirdo to understand that new is coming for you. New love, greatness, okay? They're in heartbreak, not you. Don't let them, don't let them try to pressure you to think you need to be stuck in your head, Taurus. You're clear on it. You're clear on it. You're going to be with somebody, King of Swords and King and Queen of Swords here. Y'all going to be clear on this conversation. Look, I can't make this up. There's somebody coming into your life, Taurus, that ain't going to play about you. Okay? This transformation is going to bring... You, you've manifested this. Someone that's going to be direct. Sometimes people get the King and the Queen of Swords and they think that's divorcees and things like that. And that could be true. But in this energy, Taurus, I feel like this is someone that's going to be straight up and honest with you. Period. Point blank. Ace of Swords. I told you, there's a crown on that sword. And then look at the leaf. Look at that little vine and stuff. There's growth, okay? Spirit's giving you clarity. Spirit's telling you, clear your mind. Clarifying the two of swords. We got the five of swords, okay? Clarifying that. Not clarifying, but right up underneath it, we have the tower that showed up, and then it was the four of wands. Taurus, somebody wants to put you in the illusion of this is what's going to happen? When truly, Taurus, this is where your mind should be at. This is what you've manifested. And there's two people, not three third-party weirdos, okay? Period, point blank. Ten of cups. You deserve complete happiness. Sticking to your intuition. Somebody wants you to miss out on the ace and the three cups here. Now we can all say third party. No, I feel like this is a celebration. You loving yourself and finding someone else to love you. And then everybody's celebrating y'all loving each other. Four of wands. It's a celebration, honey. Barbecues are coming up. All that. <laughs> and then somebody here in this three of swords and eight of swords energy. Oh, no. It didn't work. They didn't deceive themselves. What? Oh, gosh. I'm not as powerful as I thought. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're powerless. Because Taurus is still going to have whatever the hell they want to have, no matter how much you sit there and try to obsess with them having otherwise. You can't dominate somebody else's life if you ain't got your own life together, okay? This cycle is closed the fuck out. Understand? Okay? Taurus is taking care of themselves. Mind your business. And they intimidated by that, too. Look, Taurus just walked away. Now they got to look the other direction and try to find somebody else to sit there and dominate. It ain't going to be you. It ain't going to be you, Taurus. Somebody's wanting to cause conflict and stuff and you get new love or having somebody that has mutual feelings. Someone that wants to go down, excuse me, love, go down a mutual path. Why am I seeing this card out like this? Envy. 
I got two decks right here, and this is just what it was just laying to the side. <sighs> Hating on this energy, Taurus. Look at this. Look at this. They know who you are. This is a person you used to be with. We saw that. We saw that. We saw that. Um, the er, the the Emmett. We saw <laughs> Emmett. Somebody named Emmett. Somebody Emmett Smith fan or something. Mm -mm. I love Emmett Smith. I do. I do. I do. I still like the Cowboy. No. 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 <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm from Texas. Don't mean I gotta stick. Nah, 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 nah. I'm not a set trip in person. No, I'm not. Okay, Taurus, just please believe me. Okay, yeah, look, Taurus, you've had enough time, but babe, I can be a sunshine. That's what I'm getting. Do y'all remember that song? It's old. Yeah, look, Taurus, Loris, I always say that in y'all's readings. Look at this judgment. You see it, Taurus. You're wise now, babe. You're wise. We just saw the Queen of Cups. Now here's the King of Cups. Ooh. Taurus, don't overthink anything. Let's see. Deception. Pay attention to the red flags. Overthinking. We only they envious ass over there. Okay, Taurus. They just gonna have to stay over there. Okay? They'll be alright. Don't feel sorry for them. Stop feeling guilty, Taurian. Okay, Spirit. Give me something for this deception energy. For Taurus. What is this energy of deception? Let's clarify these real quick. Close this out. Yep. Somebody wants you to believe that everybody has multiple lovers like they ass do. That you can't have a genuine connection where the lovers isn't you just loving somebody else and someone loving you. That's a, that, that that's deceiving. Don't deceive yourself, Taurus. Spirit, pay attention to the red flags. What do we got going on here for Taurus? Look at this. Look at this. Somebody come look at this. We have Scorpio energy here, babe, okay? Like I told you, that four of wands here. Where is that? Oh, the tower and the four of wands. Someone wants you to believe this. This is what's going to happen towards every time you get with somebody. So be prepared. Don't listen to that. That's in, that's negative energy. Don't listen to that. And spirit has a, the ace of swords right up underneath it when I said that's negative energy. Pay attention, pay attention to the red flags. Look what's at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry, be y'all Taurus. Y'all know what? That's another thing, babe. You don't want to scare your angels off. <laughs> don't do that to them, Taurus. Look at him. He's like, hold the. He like turn the side of the tree. God dog it. I don't even know how I'm gonna approach Taurus now. <laughs> God sent me here with the with the with the mission, and I I can't fail it. I gotta come in. I gotta come through. You so busy looking at them punk ass cups, and look how beautiful that one is in the hand. Sent from the divine. Don't deceive yourself, Taurus, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't play with 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 it. Overthinking, spirit. What's the overthinking? Ooh yeah, so you don't move forward. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Somebody come look at this. Come on, come on, look at this. Six of swords in the reverse, Taurus. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hail to the nene. Look who you are. Uh-uh. I think not. We're going to see the Empress twice here. Okay? Judgment. Judgment call her, Taurus. The second time we've seen the Queen of Swords. Okay. Uh, boundaries up. All right. Clear mind. Positivity. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. Taurus, this Five of Pentacles is an illusion. You ain't let down the cold, Taurus. Okay? You ain't let down the cold, Taurus. You're not let down the cold. You're doing something called using your intuition and keeping it to your damn self. You know what it is you deserve, Taurus. You know what it is you deserve. And this other person's going to sit here in the Nine of Swords. Second time I've seen the Nine of Swords out. Okay, I had to clarify those three cards so you'll see exactly what I'm saying here. The lovers. Somebody wants you to think, Taurus, the love connection you come into is going to blow the smithereens and you can't move forward in life. You got to stay stuck with their dominant ass. And here they are envying you. Oh my gosh. Taurus figured it out. The dude. Oh, fuck. Taurus figured it out. Taurus knows. You know, it's like, man, get your ass on. Hell yeah, I know. I have the right to celebrate. You put me in a third party. I'm going to put myself out of that. And you're going to be stressed out. You have to hold your own burdens. Don't bring them to me. A lot of you know how to transmute energy as well. Somebody keeps trying to like throw things at you. And the answer is no. They have to stay there with that. See? The Ten of Wands. The Eight of Wands. Okay? Trying to throw the energy at you. Trying to project. And then you know how to transmute. It goes right back to them. Because this person has you in the Two of Swords. But you can use your intuition. Take those swords down, Taurus. Put them down. Take that blindfold off. They in the eight. Good luck getting out of that. Okay, that's self-entrapment. Whatever the hell. Eight of cups. Walking away. 
walking away, Taurus, and going towards what it is you're meant to have because you deserve it. You deserve happiness. And here it comes. Are you ready? We saw the Ace of Cups. Saw the Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups here. Look. We're going to back, Taurus, to that Four of Cups now. Please stop scaring your angel, babe. Okay? Get in a, in a higher vibration. <laughs> This is funny to me, Taurus. The way the angels just like, okay. Like, I mean, just look at it, Taurus. Y'all just might think I'm crazy, but look at it. Mm hmm. And look at that person's face. Angels like, if you only knew what I got right here for you, please get in a higher vibration. I don't want to approach you like this. Don't deceive yourself, Taurus. You're beautiful, okay? Take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith. Take that leap of faith, Taurus, towards what? Wow. There's new things coming in, Taurus. This could even be a friendship, family ship. No manipulation ships. You ain't doing it, Taurus. You're too king for that, okay? You're too blessed for that. You see this king of pentacles? Male or female? Look at all that they got. That king got around. And a castle in the background. I believe the king of pentacles is sitting out on their throne outside in the lawn. Watching they servants mow the lawn and stuff. Okay, maybe they. Okay, maybe they. Maybe they. They in one of them driving mow, lawn mowers. Okay, but they still got good things coming. Okay, they don't mind doing it themselves. This was a beautiful reading, Taurus. I'm so honored to have done it for you today, baby. I really am. Okay, I was in a good mood. Today must be my lucky day. <laughs> Y'all remember that, Taurus? Off a of low down, dirty shame. If you have not seen it, it's on Tubi, the app. Y'all need to go watch that. That stuff is so funny. Jada Pinkett, oh my gosh. she I loved her in that. I know many people don't like Jada today, but come on, y'all. Come on, leave the lady alone. All right, we ain't got time for hate. Remember, we're supposed to raise our vibrations, Taurus. You got somebody in the background that's pretty envious of you. All right? Taurus, I'm sending you love and hugs and ladybugs. Taurus, have a beautiful day, beautiful weekend, and I'll definitely see you guys in the next one. Okay, Taurus, take care. Mwah! Mwah! Bye-bye.